What is up everyone? Today is Sunday, December 24th, 2023. Merry Christmas Eve, everyone, and hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, finally, a new product review or a relatively new product review for 2022-23 Panini Chronicle Soccer T-Mall version. So um, there was the normal hobby version, and then you have the retail solo packs, and then uh, with a few months delay, now in the North American market is the Asia exclusive T-Mall edition. So um, this time they didn't do like three different uh, regions of T-Mall. Uh, such as 2020-21, but rather just one Team All format. And they did change it up this time around because Team All can get numbered cards, and it's quite it's quite interesting. So you get three mini boxes per master box, one for EPL, one for La Liga, and one for Serie A. And you get nine total parallels, so three per mini box, or one, or one pack each, uh, will have three parallels. And the parallels are just red lasers, gold lasers out of ten, red mojo or gold mojo out of 10. So uh, basically you're going to get a lot of reds. The lasers will be for the paper cards and the mojos will be for the chrome stock cards. And there is a total of 900 possible cards, I believe, with 300 for each of the leagues. So without further ado, let's get this box open and let's see what we can get. So as you guys know, I am a pretty big Chronicles fan. Um, it has kind of fallen off in the recent year or two, but Again, I did buy a hobby box of this at the National, and I will always be probably buying this as a yearly product, as it is a lot of fun. And, you know, I do think the, the changes that they made this year to T-Mall um, are actually very positive. So here is the EPL mini box, and the goal is to get a numbered card out of 10, whether it's a gold laser or gold mojo. I did pay $60 for this, so I'm not really sure what the, uh, like, quote-unquote retail price would be, like, when it first came out in Asia. But... I feel like that's fairly reasonable considering that I've seen some cases will have um, up to a point where most boxes will have a numbered out of 10, but some cases will not. So it kind of depends. So we'll see. I wish they, um, the one critique is that I do wish they put autographs and men in T-Mall. I feel like it'd be cool to have a possible a possibility of hits, but um, this is already a, a step in the right direction. So we start off with Bernardo Silva for the playoff base. Nathan Patterson, Panini base, Chronicles base, Jack Grealish, Origins, Marcus Tavernier, rookie, William for Fulham on that playoff base, Bukayo Saka on the Panini base, and then we have some backwards cards, uh, Aaron Hickey on the certified base, uh, Elliot Anderson, a rookie on that, uh, what is this one called, Essentials, I think, and then Mikel Damsgaard on the Illusions base. Fabio Carvalho on the Origins Red Laser. That's a cool one. Color match Rookie Red Laser Origins. And it's a foil background. Um, Julio and CISO. Oh, if this was a gold, that would have been crazy. Uh, Essentials. Red Rookie. That's a good one, too. So two Red Rookies. Followed by a Alexander Mitrovic Red Mojo Prism. So the Prism subset, I do know, is 30. 30 cards per league. So that's a cool one. And then we get three base Chrome, chrome cards in the back. Erickson Dynagon. Callum Wilson, Phoenix, and the Mudrick rookie ticket. So that's actually not bad considering it was a base pack. I think that was um, the best case scenario, to be honest, given that we didn't get any numbered cards. Uh, but these two cards are pretty sweet, especially that in CISO. And all right, let's move on to La Liga right after that. Again, praying, fingers crossed. I think the, the most ideal kind of pull would be a uh, Gold Mojo rookie ticket. Those are huge, as well as the Gold Mojo Prisms. Uh, Fres Fresnado, Rookie Chronicles, Origins, Lewandowski. And then we have a Valverde, Playoff Base. Uh, Ponce, P uh, Panini. And then Lake Bade, Chronicles Base, Nico Williams, Origins. Uh, Kaiki Fernandez, Rookie XR Base. Ezekiel Ponce. Illusions, Turrientes, Essentials, Samuel Lino. This one's going to be a Red Origins, Red Laser. And then behind here is, nice, we got one. We got a Benya Turrientes, Essentials, Gold Laser, number 9 out of 10. So we got the base right there, and now we have the Gold Laser. So again, my dream of getting a Gold Laser from a singular box opening um, of Chronicles Team All this year has been fulfilled. So that's really cool. That's the magic here. You get a nice, lovely, super short print, and these look fantastic in person. I love the um, I love the sunburst, the sunburst uh, texture slash uh, format. So that's cool. 
And then behind here, we have a Pablo Torre Rookie Red Mojo Dynagon. That is a cool one because Dynagon has a lot of background. It's basically everything that's not the player. So that Mojo takes over very nicely. And that's a gorgeous looking card. And the three prisms on or chrome stocks on the back, Mohamed Ali Cho Rookie Ticket, Fede Valverde, and Renat Torrientes. So we got three Torrientes, including one numbered ones, uh, one numbered one in that box. And moving on to Syria. So I'm not 100% sure, but perhaps you can get multiple golds in one hobby box or one master box. I want to call it the hobby box exactly. But getting multiple golds would be a huge, huge bonus. So let's see if we can do it. Theo Hernandez for AC Milan. Kim Min Jae, rookie. That's a cool one for Napoli. Uh, Terzic Panini base, Juricic Chronicles base. Uh, about time rookie origins. Illing Jr., rookie playoff. Karnasecki, this one's an essentials, just base. Andrea Pinamonti, this one's a illusions base. And for Inter Milan, Valentin Carboni. And we get into the parallels, I think. Yep, Gerard Yepes, rookie playoff, red laser. And behind here, is this going to be? Nope, this is a red laser XR, Raul Bellanova. And that is a cool one. The XR does look very nice on the laser as well. And another Dynagon Red Mojo, this time of Tommaso Pabega, well-known person, and as well as a uh, color match. And the three final cards will be Sanabria Prism, Daniel Maldini, uh, Dynagon, and Leo Ostegard, Rookie, Phoenix. So the Chronicles Hobby T-Mall, or not Hobby, Chronicles T-Mall, a uh, pretty good product at 60 bucks. I mean, it's kind of a gamble for a uh, gold out of 10. Even if you do hit a gold out of 10, oftentimes it's not going to be a great, great player, and it's showcased by here. I mean, I don't know too much about him. He is a rookie, which is good, but sometimes you will get a random player, um, or most of the time. And so there's all this base right here, and then the nine base chrome stock cards, including prisms and some rookie tickets. And then the red mojos and red lasers unnumbered. We have eight of them because you get nine total parallels, so... Mojos are quite nice. Lasers are quite nice as well. Um, hard to say which one I like more. I think for some of the subsets, the lasers look cooler. Like this and CISO is so dope. But um, the prisms do look very nice as well. So those are the unnumbered uh, exclusive parallels. And then the one gold laser, Vignette Torrientes, Essentials Rookie from, from La Liga for Real Sociedad. Numbered nine out of just 10. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if I should rip any more of this, hope you guys have a great Christmas Eve and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.